Hello folks, welcome to another episode of King Wheels. This is the Mercedes Vision 111 concept, rooted in the last century. It's stylish, provocative, and very unusual. Its design is a mix of modern trends and new technologies, and its appearance strongly reminds of the well-known Mercedes C11, a 1969 model. That's not surprising, the Vision 111 is a modern interpretation of that very C11. The concept features the same elongated, wedge-shaped design that cuts through the air like a hot knife through butter. The hood smoothly transitions into a curved single-piece glass extending to the rear where stylized optics in the form of an elongated oval are located. The same design is used at the front, sparking genuine interest and puppy-like enthusiasm. This is adorned by gull-wing doors with a mechanism that opens like a seagull's wings. The concept has high thresholds and a low, curved opening, so getting inside will be quite a task especially for tall men. The interior supports the theme of elongated oval screens, using the same design instead of the usual displays which already start to cause a nervous twitch. The screen itself is equipped with pixel graphics, so it's not very useful, but this is easily solved with the help of a virtual reality helmet that comes with the set. More interest is sparked by the stylized steering wheel, upholstered in brown leather with multifunctional rotating dials inside. All this against the backdrop of a snow-white interior and sports racing seats and silver leatherette looks very unusual. Mercedes has once again managed to propose. This phrase can also be used in relation to the technical part of the concept. If you take a close look at the project's massive wheels, you can see electric motors behind the multi-spoke rims. There are as many as four of them, one for each wheel. But the motors here are unusual. This is a new development from the British company Yasa, which is owned by the Germans. Here, innovative axial flux electric motors are used. Compared to conventional motors with radial flux, these motors are more compact, more efficient, and deliver an insane 1 megawatt of power, or 1360 horsepower. The motors are powered by a battery developed by a Formula One team. If you take a closer look at the rear part, you will notice the huge air ducts in the diffuser. Thanks to them and the smooth silhouette, the car should behave stably at extremely high speeds. And now the main question. It's not denied that a couple of special fans with a thick wallet could assemble several examples for personal collections. While Mercedes is having fun with concepts, Volkswagen has given some automotive publications a test of the new Tiguan. You won't believe it, but the Germans are already actively preparing for the presentation of a new generation of crossover and have even published a video with the novelty, albeit in camouflage film. But this does not prevent us from assessing the overall appearance of the car. The first thing you need to know about the new Tiguan is that it has slightly different body proportions, and it looks like a hippo. Admittedly, this effect is only observed from certain angles, but it must be admitted that the former slimness and sculpturalness have somehow disappeared. The second novelty factor is the new corporate optics. The LED strip is a signature feature of all new Volkswagens. The rear optics were spared and made more traditional, as well as the entire rear part. The final touches to the image of the novelty are brought by the new front bumper with a huge mouth trying to swallow as much air as possible and cool the usual radiator. The third novelty factor is the interior. Its design has been completely redesigned and offers a 13-inch digital dashboard, which gets a little lost against the background of the 15-inch touchscreen. Its design has been completely redesigned and offers a 13-inch digital dashboard, which gets a little lost against the background of the 15-inch touchscreen. There is also a new steering wheel with quick access buttons and a new air deflector design. There is also a new steering wheel with quick access buttons and a new air deflector design. 
The gear lever is also gone, replaced by a gear selector dial that works by wire. Volkswagen claims that the interior has become more spacious. Now we will have 10 millimeters more headroom and in the back compared to the current generation. Volkswagen claims that the interior has become more spacious. Now we will have 10 millimeters more headroom and in the back compared to the current generation. The new generation Tiguan is based on the old platform. If you want a new suspension, then buy an electric car. Volkswagen has long stopped betting on internal combustion engines. On the plus side, an adaptive two-valve suspension with 15-level adjustment will be available as an option. Why so much, I don't know. Nevertheless, the third generation has stretched in length to a full 4.5 meters, the width has reached almost 2 meters, and the height is 1.6 meters, and the wheelbase has stretched to almost 2.7 meters. The powertrain lineup is represented by a 1.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder gasoline engine with a 48-volt starter generator. Following it, they will present it a lighter gasoline and diesel turbo four-cylinder. The most important changes will be two plug-in hybrids, one with a power output of 204 horsepower and the other with 272 horsepower. Both hybrids have received an increased battery capacity of 18.5 kWh and are capable of traveling an average of 100 km on one electric traction. All powertrains without exception are equipped with a 7-speed DSG robot. Volkswagen has completely abandoned manual transmissions, it will no longer be used in its models. The new Volkswagen Tiguan will go on sale in the first quarter of 2024. Well, that's all for today. Friends, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new videos. And don't forget about our Instagram page, which is available through the link in the description. Good luck to everyone and see you soon.